What is your plan? What is your game plan for all these food prices rising in 2021? It's all going to be taking place, folks. It's all over the news. Everything is coming around in full circle. Everything is going to come back and bite your pocketbook right in the rear yeah. end. You're it's still going to have people in poverty. You're still going to have people that can't prepare. You're still going to have people that have to make bad decisions. You're going to have to have people that have to decide between putting a roof over their head, food on their table, paying the electric bill, and gas in the car, and which one they're going to do. Inflation is just out of control, folks. If I you mean, haven't been preparing, and if you don't start preparing now, then you're going to get left behind, folks. Now, what happens if a disaster, a cataclysmic event happens? What happens if there's a power outage, hurricane, flood, earthquake, volcanoes, tornadoes, blizzards, ice storms, and whatever else could happen? You know, we're in the time of the great solar minimum and anything is possible from this point forward. Hey, so you need what you all doing out there? Have you all heard the news that there's going to be a shortage of meat and everything else? And we're coming into hurricane season? What? What are you talking about? Well, it's hurricane season. It's coming. June right. 1st. You want to be ready see. for you and your family. You want to have some meat you can put on the table. Exactly. Now, True. You're not going to be able to afford to prepare later. I know a lot of people just don't like spam. But you know what? In a pinch, it's meat of some kind, right? I mean, it's the mystery meat. Spam. What do you all think about this Green New Deal? Well, it actually isn't too green. It stinks. And you do know what's really going on. Joe Biden's got stuff up his sleeve like you wouldn't believe. We're going to be changing everything, folks, right down to your red meat. And then we have Bill Gates. Well, he has another whole plan going on. And what do you think that's going to be? Well, you're going to have to stick around to find out. Now, before we get going on this video, I want to make sure that everybody understands something. When you go shopping during your week, on your weekend or whatever else, and you see that your store is running a good sale on either frozen vegetables or canned vegetables, maybe you don't have a lot of room in your freezers or you're running out of room on your shelves, make sure that you still purchase those good deals because they're not going to be around forever. They've already talked about how prices are going to be going up and they're raising prices on a lot of goods from anything from diapers to coca-cola so it's all been all over the news and everything in between okay folks so if you run across that great deal make sure that you have a dehydrator it is one of the best ways that you can do this you can dehydrate any foods and this way here you can store them if you want in your mason jars or better yet, store them in Marlar bags with oxygen absorbers because this way here you're going to save a lot of room and a lot of space and you can just store those right in your closet, an empty box, a tote, whatever it may be. So this pack... Alright, so I'm going to start with our bag of mixed vegetables here. And then we So now...
survival preparedness for beginners. And what day is it, folks? It is Dehydration Friday. And what are we doing today? Well, it's everybody's favorite. Corn. I mean, who doesn't like some good corn, right? I mean, today we are dehydrating corn. And we're gonna get going on that in just a second. So stay tuned because another exciting dehydration video coming to you live from Survival Preparedness for Beginners on Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, we've emptied all the trays and everything else. So five bags of dehydrated corn yielded one full jar. Yeah. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me again for Dehydration Friday. And this week is corn. And I'd like to thank everybody for sharing this video, for liking the video, for subscribing to my channel, and hit that little bell so you get notified every time that I post a video. So until Good day, everyone. And if you run into a problem, you're running out of room in your home. You just don't know what to do with your preps. You want to prep a little bit more, but how can I increase the space that I have in my home, my apartment, my townhome, my student dorm. Well, there's ways you can do that, folks. Right. Now, as this you is know, from me vacuum sealing. You hear that? That was totally vacuum sealing. To save sealing. space. Get the little space saver totes that slide underneath your bed, and you could just slide them under there. You could stack a lot of these bad boys once they're all done down underneath there, slide them underneath your bed, and you just saved a bunch of room on your counters, on your cupboards, on your shelves, and everything else for more and other important supplies. Are you here to learn about prepping? Do you want to know how to survive any situation? Well, you have come to the right place, folks. Here on Survival Preparedness for Beginners, you will learn just that. There are so many videos and playlists for you to choose from to learn on just about anything. There is over 250 videos and several different types of playlists for your viewing pleasure to make things easier for you because time is of the essence right now. Now, some of the playlists just on my main screen when you click there are my top five videos on my channel, Hurricane Preparedness, new to prepping videos, gear that you need to survive, emergency kits, storing rice long-term, long-term food storage, and many, many more folks. The whole key to survival is you being prepared and knowing what you need to do so. I would encourage everyone to look through this site. I am confident you will find the information to help you along your journey. My number one goal here is to help you all get there. So thank you for watching Survival Preparedness for Beginners. The journey may be long for some, but in the end, it will all be worth it. Please subscribe and hit the bell and share with all your friends, family, and on your social media. Thank you very much for your time.